Now, I've got a question for you. Have you ever heard of the telecommunications research, research establishment in Malvern in Worcestershire? It was dubbed the Hidden Bletchley after the place where World War II codebreakers cracked the Germans' Enigma code. Though perhaps lesser known, the Malvern facility was just as crucial in the fight against the Nazis. It was there that scientists fine-tuned radar helping to lead the Allies to victory, of course. And it was all top secret. Well, now relatives of those pioneering folk, including the TV presenter Anne Diamond, are calling for proper recognition of those that worked there. Well, it was so secret that nobody ever talked about it. But I've been told by so many historians that, you know, the part the radar scientists played in Malvern was every bit as important as the code breaking done at Bletchley Park. Um, it, it played the major part in the Battle of Britain. It was the reason that our fighter pilots knew that the enemy was incoming before they should have known. And it was top secret, so no one talked about it. And they haven't talked about it much since, have they? No, you could never get my dad to, to say anything about what he did in the war. And you knew as a kid growing up and everybody around you, all of their dads and mums were scientists, um, you knew that you could never ask them and they never said. I was brought up in a ministry house, which was built by the Ministry of Defence for those sort of families. It was like a posh council house. But all your neighbours, all the kids you went to school with, all of their mums and dads were scientists and we all knew not to ask and they never told. This is a hitherto top secret radar development on a show at the Radar Research and Development Establishment at Malvern. It's an amazing story of how they moved to Malvern during a moon window. Churchill handpicked Malvern because he thought nobody would ever find them there, and they never did. But when they arrived, they were a load of mostly young men wearing civvies. Uh, all the locals thought they were conscientious objectors or spies or something even worse. So they spat at them in the street. They sent them white feathers. They were very, very hostile at first. You've got some weird and wonderful pictures from those early days of radar, haven't you? Well, yes, in incredibly, in the days almost before radar, um, they were trying to invent ways of hearing incoming aircraft before you could see them. And there were the most weird and wonderful contraptions invented all over the world by different governments. And in the end, yes, it was the British mostly. I mean, there were Americans involved in a few other countries, but mostly the British who were absolutely developing radar beaming microwaves at each other until they got this blip on a cathode ray tube that meant that that was the beginnings of radar. And you want to get in touch now with people similar to yourself, similar age group, who are the sons and daughters of the scientists from Malvern. Yeah, because our parents' generation never told their stories. My, my dad occasionally let a little story out. And that's why I want to reach out to anyone else like me, who was a kid of the radar years, whose mum or dad might have come up with a little anecdote or a little photograph that will help me weave together a tapestry of what it was like in those days. Because if I don't, those stories will die. And Armand, old friend, thank you. She's already had loads of fascinating letters, including one from a, a lady, I think, who's the, the daughter of a scientist. And her parents, they actually split up after the war because her mum thought all the time that her dad was having an affair because he was away every week, you know, somewhere obscure. And she thought he was having an affair. Uh, isn't that sad that they thought that? Because of the official secrets, he never told her. And if you have relatives who worked on radar during the war, Anne would love to hear from you. You can get in touch by visiting her website. The address is on your screen right now.